everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making homemade flour tortillas. It's some basic, simple ingredients, so let me show you what those are. All right, everyone, we're gonna start off with three cups of all-purpose flour. This is 390 grams. Now, I sifted, you don't have to sift it, so there we go, three cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna need two teaspoons of a baking powder, which is seven and a half grams. So that's what we need, two teaspoons. We're also going to be needing some hot water. So we need about eight ounces of hot water. Uh, make sure that it's just hot enough, but not too hot where you can't touch it. So if you decide to boil it, to heat it up, then let it cool down where it's comfortable for you to touch. Okay, we're also gonna need a third cup of vegetable shortening. Uh, this is 73 grams. You can also use oil, like regular vegetable oil, if you don't want to use shortening, and you just you need to use less, which is about a quarter cup or 59 a milliliter. I'm using this butter flavored Crisco. You might notice that it's a little yellow. I, I'm using this because I happen to have this leftover from some buttercream frosting that I made. Uh, you can use this or just use regular flavored, you know, the original shortening and whatever brand you want to use. Okay, I'm also going to use a teaspoon of salt and this is five grams. I don't know, yeah, I didn't tell you how many grams of the shortening. Okay, these are all our ingredients and then we're also going to need a nice big bowl. We're going to need a surface where we can roll out our tortillas. We're going to need a rolling pin and something to put our tortillas in to keep them warm. Okay, so those are our tools. Let's get to making some tortillas. All right, everyone, I've sifted my three cups of flour, uh, two teaspoons of the baking powder, and the teaspoon of salt. All in here, like I said, you don't have to sift it. You can just uh, put it all in as is, and if you want, you can just use your hands to just blend those three dry ingredients together and just break up any little clumps you might feel in there. So that's that. Okay, I've measured out my shortening and it's one third cup. I feel like when I was giving the ingredients, I may have said two thirds, but it's one third cup of shortening. So that's going in there. And you're gonna break it up, break up your shortening in there until it gets like crumbly in there. Just keep squeezing and breaking it up with your fingers. You could use a spoon, but it might be a little more trouble getting everything to break up the way you want it. So the best thing to do is use your hands. Just make sure they're nice and clean. Your nails are clean. Remove any jewelry because you don't want to get any of this on your jewelry and any potential germs that might be in your jewelry in your tortillas. Okay, once you have it all nice and crumbled up, like that, this little piece there that I want to break up a little more. We can start adding our water. Now I boiled my water and I let it dry. Sorry, I, I, I let my water dry. <laughs> I let my water cool off to where I could handle it. So I'm gonna pour eight ounces. I am going to put the um, recipe with cup, and gram and milliliter measurements in the bottom. Now, one cup of water doesn't mean we're gonna use up all this water, okay? I spilled some, so I'm just wiping it up. Okay, so I'm gonna pour about half of the water that I've measured into my dry ingredients here. Just get the water in there. Start mixing the dough into it. So just scoop it up, bring it up to the middle. And then again, you're gonna start squeezing again to break up that shortening with the water. The hot, that's why you want warm water because that helps break up that shortening. Okay. Okay, so this is still a little dry, so we're gonna add half of the leftover half. And 
And it's going to feel really sticky, but that's okay. You want it to be sticky. You don't want it to be a dry dough. And you're going to work it till it's sticky, but it comes off the sides of the bowl, till your bowl, the sides of your bowl is clean. So just, you know, grab it and move it around. Grab all that flour and bits of dough that are sticking on the sides. Let me get those little bits off of me. They come off pretty easily. So that's when you know your dough is working out. A little drop of water. I think that's enough. Work it in. Here, now I can grab all those pieces off of my hand here. My hand, all this comes off. All the little pieces that were in the bowl came off. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put it on a surface. I'm not gonna put any flour on my surface because I don't want my dough to become a dry ball. And now we're just gonna knead it. We're gonna knead it for about 10 minutes. So this is where you're going to put on some salsa music <laughs> and start working out your bottom half because this is gonna work out your top. like a little bit of shortening and what you want to do is you want to rub some shortening on your hands so while you're kneading it uh, you're kind of working that in that helps to make your dough nice and smooth so I didn't tell you that at the beginning so I'll make sure you just have a little bit get it in your hands like that so work it in Okay, I have been, sorry, my board keeps sliding around. Um, I have been kneading this. I actually even sat down to do it, but it's a lot better to do it standing up. My arms and my shoulders have gotten a really good workout. So now I'm just going to do the last and form it into a ball. Rub it on top. Slap it around a couple of times. Let it know you're the boss. There we go. Okay, so that's our dough. It's a nice little ball. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to. I have a little bit of the shortening on the bottom of my pan, my, my bowl here, and then I'm going to let this rest. Oh, I want it to look nice and smooth, so let me work it in a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty. Okay. I think that's good enough. Okay, now we're going to put it in a bowl and we're going to let it rest a bit, but we don't want it to get dry, so get a nice damp cloth. Actually, mine's a little damp with a little bit of warm water. We're going to cover up our, our dough and we're just going to let it rest. I'm going to let it rest about five minutes or so. That'll give me a bit of a rest as well. And this is not a dough that we're expecting to rise because obviously there is no yeast in it. We just want it to rest okay so we're gonna let that do that and then we're gonna come and make little little balls out of it and we can go ahead and roll it out into our tortillas and cook them
All right, everyone, I've had my dough here resting. I actually kind of moved it around a little bit and checked it out. I decided that that was good enough. So we're gonna take this towel off, but we're gonna kind of keep it off to the side here in case we need it. I'm gonna bring out our dough right here. And then I'm just gonna give it another little bit of a knead. And then I'm gonna start making little balls out of this dough. Uh, if you look at it, it's a little bit smoother than it was uh, before I put it in the bowl. So that was nice that it got like that. So what you wanna do is you just wanna like squeeze out little balls. And that just depends on how many tortillas you wanna get. So break it off. And then you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and with your fingers, you're just gonna do this. And with this palm of your, your hand right here, that's gonna go up against it. And then you're just gonna turn it and make little little discs. Now you could do the little balls uh, beforehand and then put them in here, cover it up and let them rest as, as the dough has been formed into little balls rather than one big ball. Let them rest and then pull them out and do this. Make you know a few of them at a time. Let's get another one. You can form a little ball first like that and then just start making like a little disc like that okay and just prepare a few at a time i've got my griddle warming up i think it's hot enough i'm actually going to remove it off the the heat because it's gotten a little too hot and lower the temperature okay let me make one more of these little balls now if you prepare the little balls ahead of time however you want to do it as you roll these out keep your little ball in there with the uh, damp cloth okay so that it doesn't dry out on you and just make a few of these at a time now once you have practice and you feel like oh i can do all these little discs then do them all stack them up in here again cover them up and roll one out at a time so that's what i'm going to do put some of those in there now first tortilla is always like for me it's always like my first pancake I usually end up burning it or, you know, it, it just doesn't come out right. But I'm just going to take a little bit of flour, very tiny bit, uh, not even, you know, just enough to sprinkle on here. Get your rolling pin, or, you know, whichever one you want to use, whichever rolling pin is more, most comfortable to you. This is the one that I always use. Uh, this is my icebreaker as well whenever we have parties, big bags of ice. Crush, crush, <laughs> we break up the ice with that. I'm gonna try doing it with this one just to see what it feels like because I did have this. That's actually for my fondant or my, when I make a gum paste. Okay, so what you want is just start rolling it out. Turn it as you, as you uh, roll it out. Now, I've never got a perfectly round tortilla. So, you know, don't be discouraged because it's gonna taste just the same, whatever shape it is. As a matter of fact, when we were growing up and my mother would make us flour tortillas, we would joke about them being like the different shapes of the, uh, you know, the states. So my brother and I would just, we would joke about it. My mom took it lightly because, you know, she didn't really care. Okay. Because we loved her flour tortillas and that's what matters. Okay, you want to roll it out fairly thin and like I said <laughs> your shape doesn't matter now normally what I'll do is I'll roll out three or four of them at a time and now what happens with this is uh, when you roll it out it shrinks back so what my grandmother and my mom used to do is they used to drape them over your bowl so that's why we want a big bowl even though you're making a small amount you drape them over, that kind of keeps them, you know, hanging and it keeps them stretched and they don't shrink back as much. This is gonna be a fairly small tortilla from what you can see. I'm gonna try to stretch it out a little bit more. Also, I uh, wanted to point out something that the, the water that you use, uh, I don't know exactly what temperature to tell you uh, it should be, but it shouldn't be just like warm water. It should be hot, but it shouldn't be hot where it's scolding or even hot enough to cook anything. I feel like mine was a little bit too hot when I poured it in here. 
Uh, so you don't want to you don't want it to be too hot because it can cook the dough, and then of course it makes it also harder to knead it and roll it out. But this is my croquet tortilla. I'm gonna test out my comal here, my little griddle. I'm gonna get a little piece of uh, you know dough here. Put it on there. You want the heat, if you're using like a, uh, what am I trying to say, <laughs> a skillet, but a cast iron skillet. Using a cast iron skillet is probably the best thing to do, or a cast iron, you know, like gomal or griddle. It's better to use that. Yeah, this will work, okay. But you want your heat to be like at a medium, medium heat. You don't want it to be high, but you do want it to be hot enough and this doesn't even take that long it's not like you know two minutes or three minutes on each side it's nothing like that it's almost kind of like seconds on each side now if you can't turn it with your hands get yourself a spatula let's see a little bit more my kumbas not hot enough i'm going to start rolling out my next tortilla better with my big one. Well, I can put more muscle into it with that. It's also going to be more misshapen, but hey, whatever works, works. Turning it over, I just wanted to, now the tortilla, the dough has obviously kind of a translucent look to it. You know, it obviously looks wet. You know which dough looks like, it looks wet. When um, you're cooking it, it gets a little bit whiter or warm where it's cooked, but it also gets little toasty bits. Now, some people like them like really toasty. They like to see a lot of little brown spots. I kind of like it. Uh, for them not to have too much of that. Whew. So this is a cooked tortilla right here. My crooked tortilla. Ooh, it is very hot. And now I've got my little styrofoam packing here. Put a little towel in there, whatever you want to use. Put your tortillas in there. Let's start making the next one. I wanted to roll it out pretty thin because uh, it does shrink up on the on the griddle and then it's a little thick and I like them a little thinner so I'm going to try and roll this out a little bit more before I actually put it on the heat a little hole in that one that's okay Okay, you guys, so I'm going to make more of these little balls. I'm going to keep making my tortillas, and I'll be back when they're all done. All right, everyone, I've got my last tortilla on the griddle. You might notice when you're making your tortillas, you may get some little bubbles. Don't pop them. Just leave them alone. Uh, when you turn them over, uh, your tortilla may also rise and puff up a little bit. Um, I would use a spatula to kind of push it down, you know, squish it down and get that hot air. If you try to do that with your hand, it might pop in your hand and then you'll get steam and you'll get a really bad burn. So you don't want that. Okay, this is my last one. I've been putting them all in my little styrofoam container. I actually ate one and I shared it with my dog, so I was pretty bad. I made 12 of them, by the way. Okay, this one's almost done. Like I said, it only takes seconds. Keep your you know, your gomal hot, so you want to keep it on a medium, almost to the high uh, side of the heat index. <laughs> I've got this one's drying here. That was the one that I had on my uh, dough. Okay, let's see. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out, put it in the container. I'm just going to move this out of the way from the heat. There we go. All right, everyone. My 
flour tortillas are complete. Let me show you. Look at that. So good. Let me show you the big old stack right here. And I've got one that, not quite round, but it's still yummy looking. And this is what I have. Some of them got a little browner than others, and that's okay. They're perfectly fine. I'm gonna keep them nice and warm, but a little tricky trick here is to take one, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna put some butter on it. Now, here's a decision you can make. You can either sprinkle it with salt, or sprinkle it with some sugar, or even some cinnamon sugar. You can take these tortillas that you've rolled out and you've stretched over your bowl, and instead of putting them on the griddle, you can get a pan with a little bit of oil, maybe just about, maybe just a little fingertip of oil, not a fingertip, but like a little nail, just a little sliver of oil, enough where you can drop the tortilla in there and they'll start frying. It's a quick process, just like if you were making some tortilla chips and you've got some, tor or a chalupa, or your tostada, and you get a corn tortilla and you fry it to make it crispy. You're gonna do the same thing with a tortilla, but you, a uh, flour tortilla. But what you wanna have ready is you wanna have some napkins on a plate so that you can drain them. And then you wanna have another big bowl with cinnamon sugar in there. So as soon as you've you know, drained off any oil, drop them in the sh sugar, the cinnamon sugar, and you've got a nice crispy tortilla with cinnamon sugar. I actually have a recipe for that. And I'll link that down below. That would be called a buñuelo. One thing that my mom did, you could cut them in little triangles if you want that. My mom would cut them in little strips. You'll have little buñuelo strips and a little bit easier to, you know, fry up that way. So again, before you cook them and they're still raw and you roll them out, cut them in little strips, about an inch, inch and a half wide, whatever size you want, or in little triangles. Put them in some oil, fry them up, turn them, fry them on the other side, drain them in some napkins, and then dip, dump them <laughs> in some cinnamon sugar. And they are delicious, sugary, cinnamony, crisp tortillas. I just put some butter on it. I'm gonna sprinkle some salt and I can either fold it, but what I like to do is I like to roll it up like that, like a little taco. Mmm. Nothing like a fresh homemade flour tortilla, a little butter and a little salt. So good. I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope YouTube will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and also hit that little notification bell, you guys. That way you'll know when I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and every Friday. <laughs> sometimes it's a Monday night, sometimes it's a Thursday night. It depends uh, if I can stay up late and put it in the middle of the night or if I just go ahead and do it early. Okay, so there we go. Share on your social medias, and as always, enjoy.